So Go Fish, just for everyone, I, I want to bring the level down. That's a platform that allows you to create a phishing campaign. Is that right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, so Go Fish is a phishing platform, and I'll do a run through of it too because I love. Okay, GoFish. sorry. Go on. Go on. Yeah. So I will go ahead and just start up a light sale instance. I'll do. What is a light sale instance? Um, so within Amazon Web Services, it's just like a virtual private server. Um, people can do like EC2 or light sale. I prefer light sale. And those are the kind of costs up there that it costs for like a month or something. Yeah. So basically, you're just setting up a virtual server in the cloud for some amount of dollars so that you can set this up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And this one is free for the first three months. Um, okay. Even worse. <laughs> yeah. I won't even use it for that long. It's just amazing how the tools are so readily available if you know where to go. So I appreciate you, you know, sharing this. Of course. And um, this will take a minute to load, but all the GoFish documentation is on GitHub and then on their website as well. It's a really amazing phishing platform. It lets you do so many things and man maintain so many different campaigns within it. So my virtual private server is loading up right now. Um, I will give that a minute. This is the documentation uh, within GitHub. It's super readable. Um, even for like non-technical people, um, for the downloads, we'll utilize that in a second whenever this loads up. So you're spinning up a server and then you're going to do like a Git clone or something. Uh, exactly. Something like that, right? yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, W get it. Um, this download. And then we'll work from there. Uh, you'll see. It's literally like a 10 step process. It's unbelievably easy to set this up. Just for someone who wants to start out the, um, the first thing you did, you got to find information about some like a company. We've all got these like dodgy emails. So will you also show us how to like write an email so that it looks legitimate? Is, is that part of this uh, go fish thing? We can definitely do that. Yeah. I will show you how to configure everything within this if you'd like. This is our virtual private server. Um, I've got to ask the question, how did you learn this stuff? Did you, um, sorry to take on a tangent, it's just always interesting. Did you just pick this up through years of like experience or... Are there any resources that you found really valuable, books, stuff like that? Um, so I've always been super into technology. My dad was a programmer when I was growing up. He was like a pearl monk. Wow. So he was always securing stuff. And I was always like, I have to break it to get past my dad. Um, <laughs> so I've always been super aware of security and hacking. That was just something I like grew up loving. Um, but in terms of just really doing hands-on stuff is the best way to learn. Um, there are really great resources too for like generic pen testing. I always recommend the Hacker Playbook. It's one of my favorite series of books. It's absolutely incredible. So we're in here, uh, just do a pseudo so that we have root privileges. And I'll go ahead and just make a directory called GoFish. So everything's super organized. I like to be very organized within my machines. That's great. We'll, we'll go into that. And then we're just going to do a wget. So we'll pull this Linux download, perfect. All right, so we wanna go ahead and grab that. We'll make sure that it's there. Uh, we're gonna have to do, cause this is a fresh VPS, we're gonna have to apt install unzip so that we can unzip that. And we'll unzip our GoFish. Make sure that it's all there. Perfect. And then, so this is the really big part um, when you're configuring a GoFish server, this config.json, um, that file stores all of your configurations. So okay. we are going to have to just make a small adjustment here. So this admin server listen URL, right now it's set at localhost and then at the port 3333. Um, to make this externally accessible, you have to actually change that to 0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
Exactly. Yeah. Um, I love when I see people make mistakes in like online tutorials. So yeah, we're changing our permissions uh, for GoFish. So we're going to switch mod. And now we should be able to start it. Awesome. And so whenever you spin up a GoFish server, it will host, whenever you spin it up for the first time, it will host the username and password for the administrator within the starting um, message. So we'll go ahead and find it here. Awesome. So we've opened it up to the internet. So we'll just take our VPS's address. We'll go there and then we'll append our 3333. Three, three. And here well, we go. Just like that, eh? Yes. Well. So we'll go ahead and log in with those credentials that we made. And I love GoFish. It's such an amazing platform. It has so many characteristics to it for phishing. Um, and it'll prompt you to reset a password whenever you first create a server. Let me guess it's Corgi. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bad Don't joke. say that on the air.